essential and non essential amino acids you know amino acids are divided into two classes essential amino acid and non essential amino acids hello everybody i am atunu betal and in this video lecture we discuss about the classification of amino acid as essential amino acid and non essential amino acid with examples and what happens which uh, uh, disease that are uh, uh, causes causes disease lack of the essential amino acid we discuss about this topic so before starting discussions uh, i would like to say that if you do not subscribe this channel uh, uh, then you can subscribe this channel right now and press the bell button to get new video upload notification so we start the discussions regarding this essential and non essential amino acids well, at first you have to know what do you mean by amino acid amino acids are the organic compound you know that amino acids are organic compound where the amine group and the carboxylic acid group both groups are present in the same molecule that compounds are called amino acids and amino acid Uh, may, uh, are divided into two classes essential and non essential amino acid essential amino acid means those amino acid molecules those amino acids molecules that cannot uh, that uh, can, uh, essential amino acid means that that is required in our body human body and that cannot be synthesized by our body in human body the amino acids that cannot be synthesized are called essential amino acid these amino acids can uh, uh, cannot be synthesized in in our body so uh, these amino acid is, uh, are these amino acids are very essential for our body but cannot be synthesized in our body so we we must need to uh, uh, intake this amino acid for by our diet in our diet we need to uh, uh, eat some foods Uh, some foods uh, by which we can get the essential amino acids that are uh, very essential for our body so uh, in case of essential amino acid we can find these examples are the valine lysine leucine histidine isoleucine arginine uh, phenylalanine tryptophan uh, and uh, methionine and uh, threonine Uh, these are essential amino acids these can these amino acids are uh, the 10 amino acids out of 20 amino acids that are found in the protein molecules uh, in in protein substance in protein substance the uh, out of 10 uh, out of 20 amino acids that are found in protein 10 amino acids are essential amino acid these are essential amino acids and 10 amino acid molecules are non essential amino acid these are glycine alanine uh, proline serine uh, cysteine uh, gl glutamine aspar uh, asparagine th tyrosine aspartic acid and glutamic acid these are non essential amino acids these amino acids uh, that are found in uh, protein can be synthesized in, in in our body so we do not uh, take uh, Uh, with it is not necessary to take these amino acids by our uh, diet so in uh, uh, in uh, amino acids are divided into two classes non essential amino acid means the amino acids that uh, can be synthesized in human body and uh, not essential to take this amino acid by uh, our diet so uh, these are the two parts and if we do not take the essential amino acid in enough amount means in lack of the essential amino acid lack of essential amino acid causes the disease kwashiorkor uh, this type of diseases uh, uh, happen by the lack of essential amino acid and uh, in this case like kwashiorkor disease here the water balance in our body is disturbed and as a result some of the organs in our body becomes blotted or may become watery so kwashiorkor disease happen when the essential amino acids are not taken by by food or in our diet enough amount lack of essential amino acid causes the kwashiorkor disease so that's the discussion regarding the essential and non essential amino acids classification of amino acids that are found in protein 
uh, out of 20 amino acids 10 amino acids are essential and 10 amino acids are non-essential and non-essential amino acid uh, lack of non-essential amino acid causes quasicot disease and uh, you know, quasicot type disease other disease may also uh, other disease also uh, happens by the lack of the essential amino acids so this uh, this is the discussion regarding this topic of the classification of amino acid as essential amino acid and non essential amino acid and uh, disease uh, diseases that are uh, taking place due to the lack of essential amino acids so that's the discussion i think you uh, understand this discussion well if you have any question regarding this discussion then you can ask me in the comment section below and uh, one uh, one important uh, uh, re reminder for you that uh, if you do not uh, subscribe this channel then you can subscribe this channel and to watch the full uh, chapter of amino acids you can uh, you can uh, watch it from the playlist uh, made in this channel from the playlist you can find the uh, multiple topic regarding this amino acid like uh, what are amino acids and uh, configuration of amino acid nomenclature of amino acid you can find all these topic uh, from the playlist amino acid so watch the watch from the playlist to uh, uh, to watch more topic more topics so that's the discussion thank you for watching this discussion